One of my favorite things to do is to test ballistic armor, whether it's AR-500, whether it's ceramic, uh, there's so many different things, even helmets. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, this one has been tested. We've got a full review. But today we're going to be testing some of the Level 3 armor. This is from Highcom Security. Same guys that sent the helmets. And uh, we're going to be shooting some different rifle calibers. Now, Level 3 will defeat up to 308 NATO rounds. Uh, level 4 is 30 6 armor piercing. And we're going to be testing that as well. But for today, Level 3. And we're going to check out some different results from plates with different calibers from 5.56, 7.62 by 3.9, and 308. We're going with the level three plate. This is AR-500 armor with a nylon covering on it to help with spalling. I'm using one of the uh, shootsteel.com portable targets to be able to angle this. I thought it was a perfect fit. That way we don't have to worry about the steel coming back on us. That's one thing about it, testing this stuff, guys. You gotta be careful because some of this armor is gonna come right back at you. Believe me, I've, from experience. <laughs> We're going to start out with 5.56 five, out of the 2A armament. We shot pretty far over to the left, so we're just going to try one more round. Pretty fascinating the way this happened. Um, that second shot was right here. We couldn't really tell where the first shot was because this cloth absorbs the round. Uh, but you can see how it kind of shoots out the side. Um, so I thought that was a pretty cool, and, and out of the bottom here, but it does, looks like it slows it down, it doesn't do a lot of tearing. But right here you can see a definite round right there. Now really we didn't see a whole lot come out of the top, but part of the reason is because of the angle of the plate. It was angled pretty good like this. And so I guess a lot of it was going down. So that's probably why you're seeing that going down. Up next, we have the uh, Romanian RH-10 imported by Century Arms, 7.62 by 39. Okay, as you can see right here, popped it. It did really rip this. It may have been something to do with the way this was mounted in this little mount but definitely didn't even come close to going through, but it definitely spread out. Not very surprising, actually. This AR-500 is fantastic. We're going with 308 Winchester. This is the C-308 from Century Arms. Excellent rifle. Okay, let's see what we hit. Yep, right here. There's our 223. Guys, I'm telling you, it didn't even barely mark it. Then 7.62 by 39 right there. We're gonna go ahead and pull this cover off. Any warping, no dimpling in the back. See that? That's that first 308. Was it? And there's the second one. There's there's the five five. There's the uh, 7.6 to a 39, and then there's the 223. Surprised the 308 makes that small a hole, the dimple. Now to get a little more feel of what these plates are capable of, uh, this is the 556 five, right here. Two rounds. In fact, when I first fired the first round, I thought that I'd hit it over here. Uh, but both rounds were <laughs> actually really close. Uh, then when we came in with the, the uh, 7.62 by 3.9, it was down here, and it actually had a glancing blow. You can see right here where it hit, um, and this was the one round. And then with the 308, again, we shot two rounds thinking that maybe we didn't hit it because of the way the plate reacted. And we didn't want to disturb the material until we got ready to, to look at it full on. But you can see the 30, the 308s both here and here. Uh, the cover, of course, was completely destroyed, and nothing came through the back whatsoever, uh, which was expected. These plates should hold up to 308. Uh, but the spalling, you can see it's pretty horrific. If you're in a situation where you have uh, AR-500 armor, the spalling is going to kind of explode. Now, the way this was set, 
it definitely would affect the way this did. But you can see and imagine uh, what you could, you know, what could happen with those rounds coming off. Uh, they do have a kind of a cushion foam padding at the back. And so that would be between you and this armor plate. But uh, I thought that was a pretty interesting test, but uh, the plates definitely held up. Now we're going to test the level three ceramic plate. And uh, this is model 359 and uh, nice thick ceramic. First off, we're going with 223 on the ceramic plate. All right, right here, I can feel where the impact hit. Of course, nothing out the back. And uh, that is with 556. Five, and now we're going to go with 7.62 by 39. We're going with 7.62 by 39 using the RH10 Romanian AK from Century Arms. All right, knock the paper off. Uh, shot right here, you can feel the uh, softness where it's, but you can still feel the hardness underneath. And right there is where the bullet impacted. We're gonna take a look at this in the shop when we get finished, but uh, no penetration. Maybe some, even here you can see, just a big bulge. And uh, wow, that's pretty cool. There you go. 7.62 Last but not least, 308 Winchester from the Century Arms C308. And I shot the steel, not the ceramic. <laughs> you sure? Hang on. Yeah. No, I aimed at the plate. I aimed at the plate. Rodney thought he had missed that first shot and hit steel, but he actually hit right here. And then we have the second shot right here. So that's two 308s right here. So let's see what it did. Wow, very impressive. Look at that. Two pretty close proximity. It contained them. Uh, you definitely would have a bad day if you were wearing these, but you'd have a good day because you'd be alive. So uh, pretty impressive. Of course, now we have a female plate. <laughs> It didn't, you know, it rung the plate. You can see the flat spot where it pushed into the plate. So 308 here, then you have, um, this is uh, 7.62 by 39, and then we have the 556 here. So you can definitely really get a real direct uh, feeling for the pressures and the ballistic energy that's coming out of those rounds. It's pretty impressive. But the plate held up. Okay, here is the level three ceramic plate. I put down a trash bag because this stuff is going to come loose. Uh, what we see here is 223, 556, or 7.62 by 39, and then the two 308s. And um, you can see the, we actually pulled this loose. You can see the bulges. So let's look at the back first. Again, um, the two 308 bulges, the 7.62 by 39, and then a slight bulge right there for the 556. Now as we pull this off, um, okay, you got a honeycomb right here. That's going to really help with spalling for sure. Um, and then you see a lot of the metal deflected and lost in this area. I mean, there's a lot of pieces here. Um, just pull that right off. Okay, the, we have a plate right here. It's just a ceramic plate. All this is adhesed together, adhesive, and um, but it is a pretty solid plate. And so, of course, metal and pieces all over the plate here. Here, this is a lightweight plate. It's funny, it's two different composites. This is more of a heavy plate, and then we have the lightweight ceramic here. Now the 556 five, right here, and there is the bullet. Um, the projectile is right there. So you can get a little bit better look at it. It's pretty uh, destroyed, really. It's just a piece of lead. A lot of it's lost. There's some pieces. Let's see, the 7.62 by 39. I don't even see it. 
Let's see where it's the cavities made. The 308 definitely did a lot more damage overall. Uh, this piece right here, especially, I mean, that really just blew out a big cavity. I mean, it's just a big hole, but I don't can't find any projectile in there. Here, same thing, but that all that lead, it just like it disintegrated the bullet. Once it went through the honeycomb, once it went through that first plate, and then just shattered. So that's pretty impressive. And again, you can see the thickness, and then there are the bulges. No penetration whatsoever. Uh, this would not be comfortable for sure, but uh, it could definitely save your life. And that is the level three ceramic plate. Yeah, this is the model 359. It's a 10 by 12. Uh, they do come up. They do have shooters cuts and some others that they use in uh, high comp security. Now for the 556 or 223, we were using the 60 grain V Max from HPR. Uh, from for the 7.62 by 39, we were using the WPA or Wolf ammunition 123 grain hollow point. And then for the 308, this was 168 grain boat tail uh, hollow points match grade ammunition. So those are the three rounds we were using. We had a great time testing out this HICOM security armor. Uh, the helmets, I mean, that was a blast with the uh, ceramic and the AR500 plates in the level 3A and 3 armor. Uh, they all held up beautifully, and uh, we were very impressed with the results. I want to thank my buddy NC Hill for all the help. And I'll tell you what, guys, it's a lot of work switching out rifles and setting up cameras and everything, so I really appreciate his help. Some of y'all think it's a lot of shooting. It's a lot of camera moving. So check out highcomsecurity.com. A lot of different armor choices to fit whatever budget, uh, whether it's down to the 500 or some of this really advanced uh, ceramic plates. And, of course, the helmets as well. And I really want to thank those guys at Highcom Security for sending this, for doing this test. You know, they've seen a lot of my tests in the past. It's been a while since I've done some ballistic tests. And shooting helmets, that was a lot of fun. But this helmet runs over $400. So I really appreciate those guys sending this stuff for this cool test. We had a lot of fun. For this type plate, it's a really excellent choice if you're looking for personal body armor or protection, whether it's law enforcement, military, or even civilian sheepdogs. Now coming up, we're going to be doing a few more tests on the 3A Armor helmets, and we're going to see what they do uh, with some calibers that you wouldn't necessarily expect. So the Level 3 Ceramic and AR500 plates from HighComSecurity.com, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. They sent it months ago too, by the way. <laughs> it ain't like it just in got high, here today. In Highcom <laughs> Security, I know you are passed out because I finally got the review done. But I know it I was warm out here when you sent it. <laughs> but just to show you guys what to expect, but also if you're not wearing armor, what to expect. I mean, man, I would have just been a flop. Is this your first radio rodeo? I'm telling you, I, I stayed up too late last night. Here, stay still so I can get this in camera, dude. Come here. Oh, I thought we were going to change angles. <laughs> I'm just going to change angles. Oh, okay. Twice, dude. I should have come down here. I knew it. Where'd I hit it at? It's right at the corner. Hold on. 308 whip. Last but not least, 308 whip. 